Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. I've got a fun episode for you guys today. I am doing a little bit of talking, but quite a little bit of building as well. Um, I want to start the project with the Hermit's bedrooms, and I was just watching some DBZ from Pungence, and I thought it would be awesome to do a little bedroom for Pungence. He doesn't play on the server, but he's still a Hermit, and he's a good friend of mine, and I thought it would be really cool. I got a little bit of inspiration from some orange and blue uh, that colors that he really likes. It's part of his skin, first of all, and... Dragon Ball Z, Goku's colors and stuff are orange and blue, so I decided that I was going to use that. In addition, I've been working a little bit on stream on some things below. Let me show you. There's an, an area below my castle, which some of you may have already seen, um, that's significantly deep. Like, there's a lot of... Um, I recently lit it up, and uh, let me use my ender pearls here. It's probably the easiest way. Uh, it's significantly lit up now compared to how it was, but this is the area, and it goes all along inside the castle. I might as well just use a few in the pearls and kind of show you around here. As you can see, there's just <laughs> poor pig. There's a ton of area that is um, that's just unworked. A lot of uh, area that I just kind of built. The, the way the amplified terrain was, there wasn't really any way to do this good for the hill. And uh, instead, I mean, it would have taken unbelievable amounts of blocks and dirt to fill that in. So I decided just to cover it with the hopes of one day me hollowing it out. So there's the bottom of the castle and how I just came out with that from the beginning of the season. That was the original hillside, and I just decided to come down with the diorite walls for the ring. So what I'd like to do eventually is hollow all this out. There's a lot of plans that I'd have for different types of forms, like tree forms and animal forms and stuff like that. Like right now, my sheep are just up top, like they're right there, just like on the ground, and they're in the way, and it's kind of an eyesore, and I'd love to finish my courtyard, but I need to start working on that. But this is not something that I can really record, you know? A lot of it's just digging. I could do some time-lapse digging and, th and things like that. But one of the problems that I've ran into is this area right here. This is the part that I was working on on stream. This took roughly three hours on stream, just this little part. See where the, um, the original top was right there? I went all the way down here, and then there was a little area that I came down with straight down. And then I still ran into that. And the problem is we're on, like, Y120. Like, that's ridiculously deep. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of digging that I'm going to have to do. So I think I'm going to have to start from the bottom and work with my way up. Another thing that's a challenge is knowing where these walls are. So maybe if I would just skim the walls all the way down and just mark them with die right at the bottom, um, I could eventually make my way around the wall and then come back and really fix it up. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But what I want to do today is go up to the area where I was working on the hermit bedrooms at. And if I can get up here and show you. Another thing is I'm going to try to do a little bit of recording with my air on today. I've I've recently been working with a, uh, a blanket. <laughs> I, I took some inspiration from Mumbo and I've been placing blankets uh, in, in key locations around my office area, my studio area, to, um, to nullify the noise of my air conditioning to kind of beat the summer heat, you know, because I want to do a lot of recording this summer. Um, but it is kind of hard when it comes down to making my family uh, hot because of my air conditioning. So uh, we're going to try it. I have a new microphone recently that I got, so it shouldn't be that bad. So I think Pungenson's area is going to be right across from XB. I don't see any reason why uh, it can't be. And I'm going to come in and kind of solidify the walls and stuff. But I do have quite a bit of materials. But what I want to do is just get make sure that I have all the materials and I'll come back and we'll start putting the room together. All right, guys, so I got the uh, proper materials, a bunch of stuff, actually, just a bunch of random things that I think I might want to use for decoration. And I also took the liberty of checking on my uh, my footage to see if I can hear the air conditioned sound, and I really didn't. So I think my blankets are working, but I need you guys to listen carefully and let me know if you can hear it, and uh, I'll, I'll keep adjusting my setup accordingly. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to start with acacia wood floor. And I think I'm going to do light blue wool walls. And I think I want to do like a bunk bed thing. Because Pungence does a lot of stuff with, um, with schism. 
and uh, and B-double-O lately, but mostly Schism. And I want to give Schism a bunk bed, even though Schism might have his own room as well. I'm not too sure. I'd like uh, Pungents to have a bunk bed so Schism could come around. And uh, I think I think it's going to be some cool stuff. So I'm going to start just by laying down some acacia wood flooring here. And I think I'm just going to go with the full blocks. There's no reason not to. Acacia wood isn't that hard to form. Uh, and I don't need much of it. It's just the... Um, the orange thing is is not exactly the most flattering color for all the designs, but it's going to be work really, really well for this particular one. Uh, I know most of the slabs for the rest of the floor have been birch, and uh, we'll definitely have to come back and cover up some of the uh, some of the area that we have down there, um, due to the fact that this this is actually going to be a layer of floor as well, well, a layer of bedrooms as well, I think. I think this level is going to be bedrooms. It should be because I don't have enough with just this floor. The great thing about it is uh, currently I could just model what I have. You know, like I can just duplicate what I already have in terms of size and stuff. Or possibly just change up the um, the, the thing altogether and just make it bigger. Okay, so the way that I have these rooms set up, for those of you that may have missed the episodes, I have them to where they're 7x7. Seven seven. I think it's 7x7. Seven uh, this is actually six by seven. Yeah. Okay. So six by seven. So it's kind of tight, but we can we can do it. Okay. The bunk beds can fit up against the wall, kind of in a corner, which shouldn't be bad. And I'm actually going to use the acacia for that as well. Um, but I do want to lay out the blue wool. So let's see here. If I took the blue carpet and just ran it along this line where I'm taking the cobble out, which honestly I don't need to do the corner, but that's kind of cheapening it. If Etho catches me, he'll kill me. <laughs> oh gosh okay so maybe this all right let's try this let me just take uh the current set of wool i have along with that okay i might just use cobble to run up the corners i don't know yet so let's see so i'll need it here and here there we go all right, and that is roughly, how much is that? I just used almost a half stack, and the walls are going to need to be quite high. How high did we go in XP's room? Let's see. XP's room came out, XP's room was like one, two, three, four, five, six high. So that's probably, that's probably a good height as well. You know, it, we don't have to go all the way to the ceiling. That's one reason why I wanted it like this. So we can go two, three, four, five, six. And I think my bunk bed design is like five and a half high. So six would probably be good. So I'd probably want the roof like there, which I don't think I'm going to be using light blue for the roof. I think I'm going to be using white for the roof. I don't know if it'll be diorite. Maybe it will be. I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gather up a little bit more of light blue wool and finish these walls out. All right, guys, we installed the light blue wallpaper, <laughs> or wool blocks, if you will, and I installed a half slab of quartz ceiling uh, just to give it, you know, ceilings are white usually in houses, even though you have crazy colored walls and floors and stuff, ceilings are typically white, so now I want to do what I would consider the main feature of the bedroom, and that's going to be the beds. Um, so I want to do bunk beds and I want to use acacia wood for those. So what we'll do is I think I'm going to take acacia wood. Now the bed's going to be relatively large in size of the room. Uh, the thing about it is to make it proper, we're going to need to come out by four here and, uh, we're going to need to come out, let's see, like this. That is going to take away a significant portion of the room's depth, huh? Hmm. Maybe... The room, the door placement will be different based on that. I don't know. I'm thinking that we should probably just do the bed. Let's see. I think we should do the bed like this. And that way, we won't, we'll have some usable, unusable space right here. But I don't want to make the bed any bigger, if you know what I mean. We should be able to do that. And we'll need to come out by one more right here. So this will be unusable space. 
unfortunately, but it'll be okay. Maybe this will be a sealed off closet or something like that, and we'll do a uh, painting up here. We'll, we'll have enough room to make it work. So let's finish this out. So what I want to do is come out like this and just fill this in. So the bottom bed is going to be two by three. Okay, that's going to be the space that's left in except for um, the little alcove right here, which I'm not sure I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to keep it coming out like this, but I might change my mind on that. Let's go one more high, and then I want a little border, like a, um, I don't want to do fence. I thought about doing fence, but I think I'm just going to use slabs, because slabs make, just, they make it okay. All right, very good. Is all that pro place on the way down? <laughs> all right. So we'll take light blue wool, and that's going to be the base of our bed, right? And we'll do the 2x3, and then we'll skip two spaces and do a 2x3. That way we have the little rail up top. And I'm thinking if I take this away, because the ladder is going to be on this side, maybe it'll look okay like this. So let's see here. Hmm. I'm not too sure if I should keep it like that. I'll tell you what, you guys. I think just to make the room feel bigger, I'm not going to go with my original design, and that's what I'm going to do right here. Um, so let's go with a ladder on this side, and we'll go with a ladder on this side too. That way, when Schism comes over, he could just jump in the bunk. <laughs> All right, actually, this is going to be too high right here, so this will work out. All right, does that still look okay from the top? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep this after I finish the design. So I'll need a little bit of snow, but I'm going to use orange covers for, well, orange, I guess I should say carpet for the blankets or the covers. And then I'm going to use snow for the pillows, which I'll have to go get. But uh, see, originally I thought that it would look better. I'll tell you what, let me see. Let me pull this off and just put it one more time. We'll take the acacia. What am I doing? That's not acacia. That's sea lantern. See? Okay. See, that does seem a little bit more inclusive. And the ladder could be... What if the ladder was like this? Would that look okay? I'm thinking... I'm thinking so. I'm thinking that would be a good little design. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I don't know. And we can do one more right here. Um, that might actually work, you guys. That might actually work. I'm th I think I like that better. Let's go grab a couple snow layers here. That way we can make the pillows, just so we don't lose track of what we're doing. It shouldn't take long at all. Typically, I try to grab all my inventory out, but you always miss something, you know what I mean? Unless you're like a sumo. <laughs> Okay, oh, those are golf balls. Okay, so we'll do the snow, and I think it's like a two, or is it three? It's, oh, wait, oh, we need blocks. I remember now. We need blocks. Actually, let me get some more snow here. That's what it is. For some reason, I thought it was snow balls, but it is snow blocks you have to use. So let's do... All right. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need, so let's just try that. That should give me... Oh, I'm apparently going to need at least one more. I don't have my Dana texture pack on. That's why you see that compass right there. There we go. Plenty of snow layers. That should be plenty enough. All right. So let's go. And... Oh, I'm always going the wrong way, man. Always, always, always. I love how you can just kind of jump these stairs, make it a little bit quicker. Kind of gives some parkour practice. Okay, so we'll put the snow layers here. There we go. That's going to be the pillows. And yeah, Schism can still get in the bed up here. That's actually a good reach. I'm thinking what, what would be... I don't want to mess this up. Uh, I kind of like the higher pillow right there. I don't have enough snow to do that with me again. Well, no, I really don't. All right. No worries. I think it'll be okay like this. I'll just put the other snow later. Okay. So now there's a few other things that we need to do, namely lighting. So what I want to do here, I think, is I think I'm going to seal this in with... Um, we could possibly do maybe like a little shelving deal. So if we did... If I did... 
some shelf right here just like that and maybe another one well no we don't we probably won't need it like that we'll do the shelving right there that way we can do what an acacia door you know I'm gonna stop messing around and I'm actually just gonna use this to make a crafting bench in here that way I don't have to keep running back and forth I always feel so guilty about running back and forth okay and do we have enough to no the answer is no we do not okay acacia doors that's gonna look pretty good it's like a little closet door I should say okay so the closet door we want to make it recess so we'll do it like this yeah that'll be the closet door and then what we'll do is have the rest of the acacia I guess just go up from there and hmm, we could make it go all the way up but we would need to seal in that back portion which shouldn't be a problem let's get a couple more and we'll go via schism's bed here all right so we'll just seal it in like this and this will have to be sealed in as well okay the last problem remains is that this will need to be fixed so that there's light back here so we'll just do a small light and then we'll put the stair back um where's the stair oh there it is <laughs> all right there all right and that's our little closet very good um, it would be kind of cool to have a little light hanging there but I would need to kind of join that up with the ceiling I'm not so sure if I shouldn't just uh, if I shouldn't just seal this up all the way right here and should I do it like this that way it's it's this whole thing here Hmm. And then right here I could do some sort of I could do a light. How about that? No, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Well, we could do it like this. Could make this and then instead of this like that, just do the full block. Which I don't have any more of. I run out of so much stuff and inventory management is always such a pain, you know? Okay. Well, that gives a little bit of light border to it. I do like that. Okay. Let's just throw these out for now. All right. So we need a few more things in this room. For sure, we're going to need uh, a painting. And the painting, this is on six. Yeah, so this should be even. I should be able to do, you know, the big karate painting? That's going to be what I want here. But I definitely am going to want some light. So what I want to do is, well, I won't be able to do it there. Let's, um, I think I'll do it here and here for the lighting. And then we'll do the sea lanterns behind there. There we go. And now we need that four by two karate painting. <laughs> I'm going to try to get that right quick. Well, that literally took 20 minutes, man. <laughs> but I got the karate painting. That's what I wanted. Okay, moving on to some of the finer things. Uh, I want to do a little bookshelf here for all his DBZ comics. So we'll do something very simple, just like that. And on this side, I want to put a little Dragon Ball Z, um, if you'll say, uh, <laughs> kind of like pajamas, I suppose. So let's see. We need to make... We need to do two things here because we already got the blue boots. We'll need to make the 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 gi and the pants, and we'll dye both of these orange, I think. So let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, these are gonna be orange. Can they get any more orange than that? Yeah, that's pretty orange right there. And we'll do the tunic as well. How, how orange can it get? That's pretty orange, too. I'll just use the last one. Okay. So we'll do the... Uh, I wish I had his head to put in here, even though that's kind of creepy to say like that. <laughs> All right. So we'll have the orange and blue gi. Well, the orange gi and the the blue leather boots, and that's going to be his little Dragon Ball Z outfit, his 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 nighty to go 
<laughs> his pajamas. Okay, other than that, I don't think we could fit much else in the room, you guys. Um, I could do another little light, and I think maybe a small painting uh, right here might be a good idea. Um, we could do a little desk lamp right here as well. Uh, so let's do that, because I thought about doing a lamp. I'll need one more of the... Um, let's see, I'll need an armor stand to be able to do this. So let me grab one of those. I should have a few of them in my... I, I never know where to put them, but I think I'll put them in this chest right here. Yeah, there we go. So that'll work. Um, I actually need another pair of blue boots to make a nice little lampstand. So I'll grab... Let's see. I'll grab... I think I have leather in here. Yep. One, two, three, four. And, oh, wait. There we go. And all we're going to need is one light blue dye, which I could just grab it from one of my blue orchids here. And, oh, I could put a flower pot somewhere, too. That'll work. Because I had brought a, um, one just in case. Okay. So now we'll have the blue boots as, like, the... Um, Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Man, I get lost in my own castle. All right. I'm going to do the same thing for that I usually do with lamps with the little piston trick. So that should work out pretty well. So let's do... Uh, on top of here, we'll go with the armor stand, like so. Right? And then we'll put blue boots on that. Like so. And we'll do a sea lantern on top, like that. Oh no, wait, that's wrong. We'll, we'll do a sea lantern on top right there. Yes, that's it. And then we'll do a piston on top of that to push it. Uh, that's not what I want. I need one point down for me, baby. There you go. And redstone right next to it to trigger it. And it loads it right up, just like that. Pull our piston back out, and now we have a little lamp. Um, we could do a little shelf right here using acacia. I think that would be a nice little compliment. We'll do... I guess we'll do it on this height. And then we can put the lamp right on top. Or not the lamp, the flower pot right on top. So we'll do... The flower pot, and then where is my blue orchid? Do that. Will it not fit in there for some reason? Ah, there we go. It just didn't want to go right away. Okay, the last thing that we need is something to tie in the floor here, and I think a little rug might be good. So we'll go ahead and take this block out. We'll add one of the sea lanterns, and we'll do a little bit of light blue carpet here. We'll do a little six here. And we'll go... That's gonna be it. <laughs> There's Punch's bedroom, you guys. Well, Punch, if you're watching, I hope you really like it, buddy. I think it came out great. It's very, very quaint. The last thing we need to do is put a room number and a sign on it. And let's see, I'll put it on the left side here, room 101 XP crafted. And I'll put room 102 pungents there we go and schism you're welcome to come sleep over as well buddy <laughs> well i hope y'all like the little episode i hope it's not too dark right there uh next time we come back guys we might work on another room or we might get a hold of another project so thank you guys so much for watching as always this is Ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>